What's up, it's Austin Rutherford here. One of the biggest questions that I get is, are you a millionaire? The simple answer to that question is yes, but there's so many different ways people calculate millionaire status. So in this video, I'm actually gonna break down what that even means for people. And if you stick around for this video, the other cool thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring four of my friends on this video that are multi, multi millionaires, and they're gonna tell you how they got started and what their one key thing is on how you can become a millionaire as well. But make sure you stick around to the end so you can see that as well. Smash the like button for the YouTube algorithm. Let's get started. So what is a millionaire? A millionaire means that you have a net worth of over $1 million. Some people think that it's $1 million sitting in cash in the bank. It's not the greatest idea because that money is losing value every single day rather than having it in assets that are growing in value every single day. So you can have 1 million in cash or you can have 1 million in assets of equity to be considered a millionaire. So let's say for example, you own $10 million of real estate. You're not worth $10 million because let's say you have debt of $8 million on that property. It means that your equity, your net worth on that deal is $2 million. Or let's say that you invested $50,000 into cryptocurrencies and it blew up and did 20 times and now it's worth a million dollars. You're a millionaire. The worth of that is worth a million dollars. You have no debt that makes you a millionaire. Or let's say you own stocks within a company that's worth over a million dollars. You're a millionaire. Jeff Bezos, Elon Musk's worth these billions and billions of dollars. They don't have billions of dollars sitting in the bank. They have stock that they could sell to make that money, but on paper, they're worth billions of dollars. Just to clarify, it does not have to be liquid, meaning cash sitting in the bank for you to be a millionaire. Very few people are liquid cash millionaires. Most people have their money tied up in deals and assets and things that grow in value. Because again, with the inflation that's going on right now, you want your money in assets, not in cash, because in cash, you're losing money every single day. Now let's get to the good stuff. My friends coming on here again, multi multi millionaires that have done business for many years and been wildly successful. And I want them to share with you two things. One, how they became millionaires. So you can see that there's multiple different ways on how people can quote unquote get rich. And two, the biggest one thing that they credit to their success. So you can go out and emulate those things so you can be the next millionaire. And I'm gonna run these videos back to back to back again so you can get multiple opinions on this. Now let's get into it. So the first one is one of my mentors, Mark Evans. Here's what he had to say. Hey there, Mark Evans, DM. How I got started in business is I barely graduated high school. I knew I wasn't gonna to go to college and I knew I wasn't gonna work for anybody. So I actually started learning how to use my resourcefulness, i.e. go out and get money and find money and work really hard for it. I invested in real estate. I had no cash, no credit, I was 18 years old. And I went out there and figured out a path of how to tie up a deal, connect the dots and close it and make a profit. Back then called lease options or owner financing. And then now fast forward, what I've done over the last 25 plus years is I've been able to be involved in over 40 plus companies and, uh, and many more in the, in the works. I would say the number one key to obtaining um, financial success and all this stuff is just don't quit. If you quit, game's over. Stay in the game, don't be afraid to edit, don't be afraid to pivot, but just don't quit. Enjoy the journey, because the destination is just a checkpoint in the process. So I hope you'll go out and absolutely crush it and enjoy the time. Talk to you soon. Now here's a good friend of mine, Tim Bratz, who owns thousands and thousands of apartment buildings. Here's what he had to say. Hey, I'm Tim Bratz. I'm a real estate investor. I buy apartment buildings. I got started in real estate back when the market was going crazy last time, like 03 to 07, I was in college. And I saw a lot of people who were no smarter than you and me making a lot of money in real estate. I remember thinking like, dude, if these guys are making money, I'm gonna get rich doing this. <laughs> and so I got involved in real estate, you know, kind of went through the ranks like a lot of people did, got my real estate license, started flipping and wholesaling single family houses, then flipping single family houses. Then I got into like some single family rentals. And then I bought my first apartment building in 2012 and everything changed for me. And that's when I put my head down, just focused on that. So if there's one thing one secret to success that has put me on a trajectory of just to the moon, it's surrounding myself with A players, putting myself in rooms of stud entrepreneurs who are doing big things, making things happen, who had access to resources that would take years to develop on your own. 
it truly is the only way to fast track success. So make sure you're putting yourself in those rooms. Here's another good buddy of mine, Xavier Miller. He has an amazing podcast and a very successful entrepreneur. Here's what he had to say. Yo, what's up? This is podcast and entrepreneur Xavier Miller. And today I got two questions I'm answering from my bro, Austin. And the first one was, how did I get started in my business? So like I said, I'm a podcaster and I started in 2018. I started with no microphone, uh, no headphones, no anything. I started from my living room couch with no equipment and I just got started. I, I knew it was something that I wanted to do and I wasn't going to wait for the perfect situation to start. So many of us, we wait till the time is perfect and one thing you'll learn is the time will never be perfect. You just have to know that your situation you're in right now is good enough to get started. So I started right then, right there, and I grew it to a top 40 business podcast in the country with almost 2 million downloads today. So the second question was, what is the key to obtaining success and money? So in my opinion, the key to obtaining success is first identifying whatever field you're gonna go into. After you identify that, the second thing you must do is become and remain a student of the game. Always acquire new information, go around people where you can learn new information. And then after that, you wanna take action. You always wanna be taking action because the success, it can't happen if you just acquire information and you don't do anything with it. After that, you wanna be bold. Always be aggressive, risky, and bold in your action taking. You can't be timid or scared when you're taking action. You have to move aggressively and boldly. And lastly, you have to stay consistent. This game, you can't win if you're not consistent. You can't take days off or go go hard for a month and then take another month off. You have to remain consistent. I promise you over time, you'll get to where you wanna go and you'll accomplish all the goals you wanna accomplish. Here's my man, Terry Summers. I've been friends with him since I first got my real estate license eight years ago. We are in the same class, kind of super throwback. This man owns hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of rental properties. Here's what he had to say. Hey, what's going on guys? Terry Summers here. How I got started in business. One property I bought 10 years ago, I bought it for $79,423 and had no idea what I was doing. <laughs> so eventually I ended up moving to my buddies. They helped pay rent, help fix up the place. Uh, eventually that house ended up appraising for more than what I bought it for. And one property turned into two, two turned into 12. I got obsessed with real estate, uh, ended up leaving corporate America with 34 rental properties. Fast forward to today, I own hundreds of rental properties, a uh, flip company, a whole real estate organization. And a couple of key takeaways is number one, you have to have it right upstairs. You have to believe in yourself before anybody else will believe in you. And number two, be willing to sacrifice today for a greater tomorrow. If you're willing to put it on the line and willing to sacrifice today for a greater tomorrow, you'll be successful in business. Like I said, all these guys are very successful business owners. So taking the time to send this out to add value to you guys is very powerful. I highly, highly recommend to follow all these people on Instagram. They add value every single day. You can find their Instagram ads in the description below. Make sure you check them out and follow them on Instagram. So as you can see from what they said, nobody was handed an insane amount of money from their parents. Nobody was gifted anything, right? They all put in the work to get to where they are today. Like you don't just become a millionaire overnight just off luck, right? Unless you hit the lottery or something. But like these are all real business owners that have put in the work and gone through struggle after struggle after struggle to get to where they actually are today. And these people have made millions upon millions upon millions of dollars in multiple different industries and business models. So there's no excuse out there on why you can't do the same. There's a saying out there that says there's a million ways to make a million dollars. What this all boils down to is that you can do this as well. So drop a comment below. Let me know what your concerns are, what your worries are, what you're struggling with so we can break through these barriers. While you're down there, make sure you smash that like button for the YouTube algorithm. Hit that subscribe and notification bell so you can get all this content going forward. As always, appreciate you being here. We'll see you on the next one.